Good day to you, sir, and to anyone watching. My name is Special Payet, and I'm here to present to you a El Greco's work titled Saint Sebastian. So sit back and relax. The works of El Greco, specifically Saint Sebastian, made from 1610 to 1614. My personal interpretation and understanding of Saint Sebastian by El Greco. Let's, let's go take a closer look, shall we? Right from the start, caught my attention is the facial expression of Saint Sebastian and how calm he is even, even with arrows impaling throughout the body. As a viewer, I expected more emotions and extreme pain and suffering. But upon a uh, second look and realization, uh, El Greco might want to portray uh, Saint Sebastian's fortitude against pain for his faith in God. Next, the background also looked quite dreary and dire. But the brush strokes made it seem so alive and moving. Next, the body also looked disfigured, especially in the knee part and the thigh part. As we can see right here, sir. It's very much, pretty much disfigured. Lastly, I found out that there are very minimal blood depicted even though he is uh, full of arrows. Uh, before we know the true story and uh, meaning of this painting, we must first know the painter. Who is El Greco? El Greco or Domenicus Theotokopoulos, also known as El Greco or the Greek, is a painter, sculptor, and an architect famous for his dramatic and expressionist style. He is also characterized by modern scholars as precursor, both expressionism and cubism. And lastly, his works are also known for his tortuously elongated figures and often fantastic and fantastic phantomagorical pigmentation. His style, sir, is uh, elongation of body, body figures uh, in order for him to uh, express his dramaticism in his works. So next is the true history and meaning of his work, Saint Sebastian. The person depicted in this painting is Saint Sebastian. Saint Sebastian is a Roman Praetorian guard who spreads Christianity throughout the Roman and denounced brutality against his fellow Christians. For this reason, he was denounced and sentenced to be a practice target for archery as a punishment. Moreover, as I said, since Sebastian's body has been dramatically lengthened, especially in the neck part, and appeared to look upwards on the sky with quiet anticipation. This style is not new to El Greco, and the purpose of this elongation was to create a dramatic effect. What makes this piece unique is because the background has no connection whatsoever to Saint Sebastian himself. But experts believe that the reason for this correlation was it was commissioned at the request of the patron. Both pieces, the upper part and the lower part, are found in Rado Museum Madrid, where it is displayed up to this day. So here are the list of my sources. So that's all sir and everyone, thanks for watching, have a great day.